this what you want? Last today, at two, you were still asleep, weren't you? <laughs> That's an understatement. So what did you do last night? I trust my little angel didn't do anything immoral. Well, um, let's see. I started by getting completely hammered drunk. It was bad. Then drove while intoxicated to pick up this disease-infested prostitute. <laughs> uh-huh. From there, um, let's see, me and the hooker went back to the my place. The hooker and I. Excuse me, the hooker and I went back to my place, and from there, God, it was just a blur of intravenous drug abuse and unprotected sex while taking the Lord's name in vain. Dean, did you know that when Monty was a child, everyone thought he was retarded? Dean, doesn't my mom look old? I mean, like, much older than she rightfully should? So why aren't you and Serena still together? I liked her. I don't know. I guess I got old. We had a relationship based on orgasms. Oh, how charming. You are being safe, aren't you? I don't think I could handle the idea of you reproducing. Come on, Mom. Of course I'm being safe. I pull out. Yes, well, your father pulled out too, but we've all seen the tragic end of that story. You think I want to have kids? Absolutely not. That's why I stick to anal sex. Hmm. If only I had been so lucky. If I may, I think it's only fitting that we're eating tonight at Hop Louis because this is, after all, Peter's favorite restaurant to bring all of his dates. <laughs> so of course he would bring Zoe here their first night out. Just like the rest of them. Uh, no. It... <laughs> I remember that night when Peter got home, he called me and he said, Mom, this is the girl I'm going to marry. <laughs> and it's not just because she wanted an extra order of slippery shrimp. <laughs> <laughs> On the first date? Hey, now. Sometimes. But the point is, here we are eight months later. Peter, Zoe, we love you. And we wish only the best for you both. Cheers. 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 Thanks, Mom. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, Bob. Thanks. Well, I promised Denise we'd be gone after appetizers. You know what? So I'd, actually, gonna... I'd actually like to just say a few words, if it's cool with the table. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> what an honor it is to be sitting here with Peter and Zoe's friends, family, uh, Haley, Robbie's lover. Robbie, Oz, Joyce, thank you for, for hosting this beautiful dinner. Got this guy with the smoking hot wife. And finally, we got Zoe. Zoe, you are about to marry one of the most honest, kind, and fun-loving people I've ever had the honor of knowing. The pistol is a pleasure giver, that's for sure. Yeah, fucking puke pistol. And the thing about a man like that a man like Peter, is that he never asks for anything in return. And that's why I'm here. I'm here as Peter's friend, as Peter's confidant, just to say to you, beautiful Zoe, give it back, yeah? Return the favor. And if you do, I guarantee that you will have a beautiful and pleasure-filled union. I don't think she sucks his dick. Oh, watch your mouth. With that, I'd like to raise a glass to Pete and Zoe. Cheers. Peter and Zoe. Cheers. So... Do you like weather? You do know each other? No. It's crazy, all these uh, students and parents, potential wit witnesses. How did you two meet? Oh, I love meet cute stories. We met at a poetry slam, and then he stalked me back to my dorm room. Stalked her? Oh, that's so beautiful. Th then what happened? And then we hung out and we watched a movie. Actually, we watched it a couple times. Yeah, but 
Pepsi. It's bullshit. It's fuck. Wait a minute. What can a black man do to get some water around here? Give the fucking guy some water. He's black. He's been through a lot. For the sake of your daughter, please keep it together. I'm gonna need a motherfucking crate before I go crazy. Be right back. So, uh, where are you from originally? I'm straight out of Compton. But my husband's from Northridge. Come on, man, hook me up. What the fuck y'all doing? Y'all rationing around here? Come on, hook me up. Two little fucking string beans? Give me the goddamn string beans. I want some fucking devil eggs. I like fruit. Don't you like fruit? I like fruit. But this pork shit has got to go. I'm taking it out on the boat. Shit was nasty. He's under a lot What's of up? pressure at work. What's up, man? Wanna go to the movies? Break your motherfucking legs. Break your legs. What? How you doing, Mr. Nice Plant? Get your fucking ass. Oh, that's a, that's a lovely vase. That's great. Let me guess, Jack. Is that one of your little secret cameras, too? Huh? Oh, Greg. Greg. That's in the urn, which holds the remains of Jack's mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That... That's all right. You didn't know, Greg. That's... I'm... That's our grand grand. We like to think of her as watching over us as we eat. Hmm. Love you, Mom. Miss you. Miss you every day. Oh, honey, why don't you read Greg your poem? Oh, no. He doesn't want to hear that. What? No. What? What, what poem? You see, when Jack had to retire for health reasons... Oh, that's a bunch of malarkey, honey. I'm fine. The doctor thought it would be therapeutic if he uh, sort of expressed his emotions in, in an artistic way. And, oh, Honey, you wrote the most beautiful poem about your mother. Please, we really want to hear it. Poem, poem. poem. Mm -hmm. Please? Well, all right. It's a work in progress. Mm -hmm. I'm still not happy with it. As soon as it's ready, then I am going to glaze it onto a plate mm. and put it next to the urn. Nice. It's very special. My Mother by Jack Burns. You gave me life, you gave me milk, you gave me courage. Your name was Angela, the angel from heaven. But you were also an angel of God. And he needed you too. Selfishly, I tried to keep you here while the cancer ate away your organs like an unstoppable rebel force. But I couldn't save you and I shall see your face Nevermore, 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 until we meet in heaven. Oh, Daddy, that's beautiful. It's, uh, it's amazing. So, so, mm. so much love, yet also so much information. Mm. Too. It takes a lot out of him. Thank you. Oh, yeah. You must have had vegetables fresher than that growing up on a farm, Greg. That, um, Greg grew up in Detroit. He told me he grew up on a farm. Mm. Do they have many farms in Detroit? No, Dina. No, not a lot. In fact, Jack, I should clarify this. I didn't actually grow up in a farm per se. The house that we grew up in was originally erected in the early Dutch farm colonial style. So that, plus we had a lot of pets. Which one did you milk then? Dad. Honey, he said he pumped milk. What have you ever milked? A cat. A cat? I milked a cat once. You want to hear a story? Sure. My sister had a cat, and the cat birthed a litter of kittens. Must have been 30 of them. And there was this one little runt, this little sweet little little engine that could run, who could, you know, wanted to get up there and couldn't really get access to the, to the, to the, the to the, uh, teat. Teat? Dad. What have you. I went in and just simply, you know, into a little saucer 
and uh, then took the saucer and fed it to Geppetto. That's what I named him, Geppetto. I, I, I had no idea you could milk a cat. Oh, yeah, you can milk anything with nipples. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? Okay, can we change the subject? How was your weekend, Louise? I had a really excellent time. Thanks, Auntie Violet. What did you do? Um, we all went to a club on Friday night, and then we went to Connie's parents' house for a big party. How did you get there? Jip drove us. He hadn't been drinking. <laughs> no, 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 he hadn't touched a drop. And, uh, <clears throat> how is Jip? He's really, really well. Thanks, Auntie Claire. you just send Charlie back out here? Things were finally becoming civilized. Listen, Pocahontas, unless you put your ear to the ground, you'll never hear the buffalo coming. Look, I don't know what that means, OK? It means either he's got to make up a battle plan, or old Hank's going to have to take over for Charlie for good. Did you just refer to yourself in the fourth person? Holy Jesus in heaven. It's a giant Q-tip. Hank! Well, I'm joking with the guy. Bring a little sunshine into his life. Careful, you'll peel. Uh, do, you, do you need to see a menu? No, thank you. We've ordered. That's it. Hey, hey, hey! Hold on there, cheese tits. Did I miss something? Don't give us that shit! What you just did to that kid was terrible! Didn't you see the look on his face? Looked a little pale, that's all. He was hurt and offended. Well, I disagree, but why speculate? Hey, Mookie! He knew! No, oh, no, no, no. Come on, Bray Rabbit, hop down the money trail. Come on, hey, hey, on today. Listen, uh, were you offended in any way by our social interaction here? You, yeah, actually, I was. What was it, the Q-tip thing? Actually, I was pretty much offended by everything that you said, sir. but never substantiated. Woo! All right, well, uh, who'd like some appetizers? Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's what I like to hear. Hey, these buns look good. <laughs> oh, yeah. And they're so soft and warm. Ray! Oh, I'm sorry, my bad. These are delicious. Well, thank you, my child. I made them by hand. <laughs> Here we go. I think the taters are just about done. I'm just gonna give them one quick whisk here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, now, dig in. All right, now it's time for the turkey. Oh, what a beautiful no, bird. No, 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 Hey, 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 man, why don't you just relax and... Just let me do that for you. Yeah. yeah. Rest that little hand. It's my pleasure. But 
What a nice young man to Thank offer. You. Let me give you a little oh. pinch there. Come on. Oh, <laughs> fuck it. Oh. You know, a lot of people are kind of intimidated about making a turkey, but really it's very simple. You just have to know the anatomy of a turkey, and it's got over here just the tiniest little stink hole, <laughs> but it's big enough to get your hand right up inside of it. <laughs> Stuff the shit out of it. I cook it with all the giblets, the penises and the ginies. And now a lot of people like to baste their turkeys, but I use this. I lick like that and get into the little hiney hiney hole. <laughs> That's nice and good. I don't know what the hell that is, but I lick it anyway. Oh. Up and down. Oh. And then I like to dip that right on there. And if you get one of these, we're gonna pull that off and bam, that just kicks it up a little bit. All right, I think that's almost ready now. And then we bring it to the table. Mm, good. All right, who's ready for a wing? Yours are the turkeys. <laughs> I didn't know that was funny. You. <laughs> well, I know what you'd like. How about a leg? How about two? <laughs> How about I take these two legs and shove them right up your ass, all the way to the knee? Dwight, Dwight, relax. Uh, Hanson, may I ask you, is there something on the menu that you haven't personally prepared? Well, I ordered out the dessert. Oh, all right. <laughs> okay. Make room. Oh, Here comes the pie. Oh, right. oh. Okay. Mmm, who wants the first piece of that pie, huh? I see you eyeing the first piece. <laughs> oh, that's good. Mmm, pass that down there, will you? That's nice. <laughs> My germs. <laughs> <laughs> My germs. <laughs> My germs. <laughs> 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 Who are we hurting? I say we sit back, relax, and enjoy a spread of their finest fruits of the sea. Or I will just suck on a napkin. Holy mama, look at these prices. <laughs> if we're gonna pay this much for crab, it better sing and dance and introduce us to the Little Mermaid. <laughs> hey, here's to a great night. But anyway, isn't it bad luck to toast with an empty glass? I don't think that's a thing. I would trade Charlotte for a lifetime supply of risotto. <laughs> what does that even mean? Oh, it's be cool. <laughs> Not Molly, but... I understand. Charlotte, yes. No, I understand. Yeah. Mm. Oh, hey, what's the story? Mm. Yes, okay. He is a successful financier, and she is getting drunk enough to get through what's going to happen later. <laughs> because he likes to do weird stuff. <laughs> He's gonna call her by his mom's name. <laughs> okay, yeah, back here. What's the story? He is a record producer, mm -hmm. and she is an act that he wants to sign. Oh, no, that's Will I Am. Better yet, that's Will I Am, and she is a no, backup singer. I mean, that's actually Will I Am. That's Will I Am. From Fergie. Oh my God. <laughs> I, <laughs> if I knew anything about Will I Am, I'd be really psyched right now. <laughs> oh, you know what? Okay, give me your phone. What? Why? I'm taking a picture. What? I'm, give me your phone. You're walking over there. No. I'm going to be that guy. No. Yeah, go ahead. This go is over. Dumb. And you're going to make okay. a fool of yourself. Do it. Do it. <laughs> oh, this is going to embarrass you so much. <laughs> Actually, do. Excuse me, Mr. and Mrs. Triplehorn. Oh, yes. Oh, well. Hello, yes. <laughs> we are the Triplehorn. Horns. Oh, boy. Who might I ask are you to be asking us who we are? We just wanted to have a few words with you, if that's okay. And what is this about? I think you know. 
Why don't we save everyone a lot of embarrassment and have this conversation in private? Okay, but can I have the rest of my risotto wrapped? Because these truffles are amazing and super expensive. Get up. Now. Honey. Get up. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. <clears throat> I think you just need to move now. Okay. That's an expensive bottle. Yeah. yeah. I'll All get your glasses. Hello. We are leaving by choice. Leaving by choice right now. Another kid dead from taking ecstasy this week. I don't know what possesses him to take it in the first place. Some children just don't have the correct upbringing. Parents must neglect them and they turn to drugs as an escape. No discipline. No morality. No respect. I just don't understand the youth of the day. I just don't understand the youth of the day. I just don't understand the youth of the day. Spot on, mate. Spot on. No discipline, Mr. No discipline. No morality. No respect. Some children just don't have the correct upbringing. Some children just don't have the correct upbringing. Another kid dead. Parents must neglect them and they... I just don't understand the youth. No morality. The drugs is an escape. No discipline. Oh. Yeah, we're just some happy fucking sitcom, ain't we? Perfect life, perfect family, perfect fucking dining table. Well, give yourself a round of applause, please. I swear, sometimes we're living on different planets because there is no fucking way of communicating with you all. Who the fuck are you people, anyway? Hey, who the fuck are ya? Mind if I share your table? I'm Sandy. So was I, last week, on a beach in Florida. What's your name? Jimmy Reese. You don't look like a Jimmy. What do I look like? I don't know, but not a Jimmy. Hmm. So you're new in town? Usually. It's kind of loud in here. Do you want to maybe go someplace quieter? I have a car. You're old enough to drive? I'm old enough to do a lot of things. I'm on a budget, Sandy. What? I can't afford you. I'm not a hooker. Oh, then I really can't afford you. Seriously, I work at the auto parts store. What I mean is the cheapest woman tends to be the one you pay for. I am not a hooker. Well, a hooker get the joke. What's this? He called me a whore. Is that true? Nobody said whore. She inferred hooker. I meant slut. Hey, that's our sister. She a good kisser? Hey, outside. Pay your check first. I'll pay later. You won't be able to. You think? All the time. You should try it. It's a great joke, but I'm gonna beat your ass. Do you wanna do that here or outside? Outside. Stay here, Sandy. I don't mind the sight of blood. When it means you're not pregnant, anyway. Just eat. 
Don't destroy everybody in the My name is Ray Gibbs Knight. This car is Banks. Willie Long. Willie Long. Oh, Willie, huh? Mm. Nah, pretty sensible, man. What you up in here for? It's a long story. He killed the son bitch with a claw hammer when he was 13 years old. So they say. A lot of people say it, though. Wait a second. You, you've been in here since you were 13? All right. How about you, boy? How long you been in here? What you do? Somebody shot your sister in here with ass. She was my half-sister. So I cut her ass in half. At least I ain't the one who poisoned my own mom and pa. Now, tell that, tell that. They deserve that, radio. What you talking about, Biscuit? You the one skinned your landlady live and made a jacket out of her. <laughs> well, at least he didn't kill Santa Claus. Santa Claus? Which one you niggas killed Santa Claus? No, it wasn't does Santa Claus. He just wearing the suit and ringing the bell. So. Man, he had presents. I ain't getting nothing. Oh, you killed one of them Salvation Man and dude to be out there with on the street with the bell? Something like that. So that's what he did. Did nobody try to escape from here? They run, but they never get too far. Oh, Cooker there made it clear to Greenville a couple years back. Make a mighty cagey country boy navigate his way through them woods and bayous. You gotta know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Hey, what y'all did? Boom. Oh, the fuck y'all do? Uh, uh, we, we, uh, we went on a, um, the a most killing. violent. Yeah, man. violent killing spree. All right. around the country, you've been killing people all this month. Ooh. All month, man. You, if y'all was out and was reading the papers, you ain't heard about it? Uh, no, no, Claude no. and Ray. Claude and Ray. <laughs> Fuck it, you know, sometimes you got to do certain shit. It's just enough that people know that, you throat. know, I go where I need to go you to get it done. Yeah. If you push my button, there's no telling what I may do. Stab yeah. you, Don't choke you, bite you. you know? I mean, whatever it takes to make a motherfucker you know I mean? stop you. Existing, I would do that. I wish the spoon was shot. I'd stab a nigga right now. Yes. I bet one motherfucker to death. You won't fuck with us. Nah, you don't really want to fuck with us. You know what? Press the wrong button, nigga pop. Hey, girl. You gonna eat your cornbread? Mm -mm. Oh, trouble. Don't say not that. You talking to me? Yeah, I think he's talking to you. Um, no, not, not at all. Um, I want you to have it. Uh, Willie, you mind passing this down to... Uh, hey, no, hi, Willie. Don't, don't pass your cornbread to him. For, that's your cornbread. Ray, I'm a grown man, OK? I'm not going to eat this cornbread. If he wants the cornbread, damn it. Have the cornbread. Now, if he wants some cornbread, let him go up to the front and get his own portion of cornbread. That's your cornbread. Fuck him. Hey, man, he going to eat his cornbread, all right? Fuck you. Ray, look, I don't, I don't need you to, to, to take up for me. I'm all right. I'm a, I'm a grown man. I can handle it. If you that. let him have your cornbread, you're going to be adding his drawers and clipping his toenails. <laughs> Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. Oh, oh motherfucker, you can't have my cornbread. That's for damn sure. Because if you try to take my cornbread, part two of my killing spree going to begin up in here on your ass right now. If you think about my cornbread, they get the taste out your mouth. That's for damn sure. Now, fuck him. Fuck that. Because I'm from New York City, goddammit. Nobody take no cornbread from me. And that go for you and any other you motherfucking farmers want to try some shit. You fuck around with me, it's going to be consequences and repercussions. My point is, my point is, that plane crash made me think about our breakup. You know, this bulb went off like, bing, Rodney, why are you giving up? You're being passive, getting back at her because she didn't want the ring. You know, so June didn't want to be engaged right now, and that freaks your mom out. Big deal. What about all the things that you and June wanted to do together, huh? Our list. You know, like camping in Vermont with my brother and Sheila and their new Winnie? Tickets to Blue Man Group up with the Battlegrounds tour. I want to talk about the plane crash, OK? Sure. What about it? I was on it. I mean, in it. I was, I mean, I was in, I was in it. So you were in the plane crash? I mean, I wasn't supposed to be on that plane, but I was on it. And then there was this guy who was some sort of, like, secret agent or something. And he, he killed everybody on and then he landed the plane. Next thing you know, I wake up. I'm in my room. I have no idea how I got there. He must have drugged me or something. And then I go to April's fitting because I have to wear this ridiculous dress. These other guys, these other agents come. They snatch me up. Next thing you know, I'm in Grand Theft Auto on the I-93. Why are you touching my hand? Because I'm here for you. Jeez, you are so stressed out. Oh, yeah. And I get it. I <laughs> completely understand. I mean, wow, Julia. I know. Your little sister's getting it's married. Like and that is stressful. What, what are you talking about, Ronnie? Understand. You didn't even listen to what no, I was talking no, about. No, I did. Look, I would probably be the same way in that situation. What Christ. can I do to help? Set up? We can bring the guys over. No, 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 okay. Christ. Hi, June. Oh, Look, I, I'm sorry if I'm interrupting anything, but I'm Roy Miller. Ronnie Burst. Ronnie. <laughs> We're running out of time, and... Maybe I didn't make it clear enough, but we're gonna have to stick together for a little bit because of our, you know, our 
the situation. In case you didn't notice, Rodney is a fireman, okay? So he's perfectly capable of handling any situation that comes up. Thank you very much. You can leave us alone. I, I have no doubt. Ever since I was a little kid, I, I have great respect for firemen. Appreciate it. The yeah, fact of the matter is, I don't think you guys get paid enough. Yeah, we don't. Yeah. <laughs> You're on Engine 10. Yeah, Engine 10. Yeah. Uh, have you taken your lieutenant's exam yet? Uh, working on it. Yeah? How's that going? Ugh. That's a bitch. <laughs> is it, do, you, yeah. do you have to do a tour on that hall? What is it? The, oh, Grove uh, Hall. That's, that's where the action is. It's the fastest way up the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> House of Flames. <laughs> yeah, I, I often thought I, you know, I, you know, I, I should have been a fireman. What? This is the guy? I'm sorry, who are you? I'm the guy. He's, I'm the guy. The guy. This is the guy. This is the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> I'm the guy. You are a guy. I'm the guy. He's the I'm the guy. A guy. <laughs> He's the guy. Rodney, whatever happens, I please, Rodney, for your own listen, safety. Whatever happens, you should know. Please stay in the booth. Rodney, no. What are you talking about? Whatever happens, you should know. Everybody, everybody, get down. Get down, 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 down. Everybody down. Rodney, get down. Or I will blow her head off. I'll blow her head off. What did I say? Rodney, what did I say? Just calm down. Answer. Huh? Sorry. I thought you were making a move. Sorry. It's all right. It's all right. I thought he was making a move. Making a move. Pies. There's pies for everybody. Everybody. Everybody gets pies. Okay, no ice cream. All the boat. Weakens the legs, people. Lincoln knew it. That's why they got to him. No one follows us. Or I kill myself and then her. <laughs> Why are you staring at me when you eat the wings? It's uncomfortable. Oh, Connor, honey, don't eat those brownies. Those are grandmother's special brownies. Kate, could you be a lamb and explain the rules? Oh, of course. Um, so you try to get your teammate to say the word on the top of the card, but you can't say any of the words listed beneath. And if you say any of the taboo words, then you get buzzed. Okay. okay? That makes sense? I'm mm -hmm. so excited to have you all here to play this game together. It's gonna be so much fun. Hey, it's good to have my friend back. So who wants to go first? I'll go. Okay. Brad, why don't you buzz your mom? Right. And then I'll do the timer. Uh, okay. Thanks. On your mark, get set, go. Okay. Uh, this is a town in France. What? You can't say France, it's on the third. You don't have to buzz me like that, Just Brad. It's the same loud for everybody. It's okay, sweetie, just do the next card. Okay, uh, this is me. I'm a... Cradle robber. Uh, honey, beautiful, just keep say? going. Don't worry about it, just keep going. You're a therapist. No, keep no, going. no, Don't not, listen. not, not, uh, Capricorn, but, uh... Libra. Yes! <laughs> Fun! Okay. This is what you dripped on me. Oh, wax. No, after that. I, it's brown. Okay, make this stop, please. Oh, oh, chocolate. Oh, no, before that, after the wax. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, the syrup. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes. Way sticky, dude. I would not recommend that. Okay. Okay, time. Oh, time. Oh, good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Ooh, we got two. Okay, who wants to go next? We'll go. Okay, great. All righty. I'll do the buzzer. Okay. Are you going to you actually eat while set. you play that? Just flip the tube. Excuse me? Flip the tube. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. Capital of China. Hong Kong. Yes. Thing next to your bed on the nightstand. A sock? Yes. I helped you come up with this when you were drunk and you came home from the bar last Thursday. Alibi? Yes. All right. The thing I'm not allowed to wear to Supercross. Mini skirt? Yes. Me and you dry humping on the beach. A screensaver? Yes, baby. This game is so easy. The only man that I'm allowed to cheat on you with. John Grisham. Yes. Mexican. Dude. Ricardo Montalbán. Yes. Time. Right here. Right here! Oh, God. <laughs> okay. This is like an animal's attack video. Uh, guys, oh, there's other people at the table's uncomfortable. Stop. Oh, God. You guys got a lot. How many was that? Seven. Seven. Paula, can you do the buzzer? Oh, yeah. We can do this, baby. You ready? Yeah. Okay, let's, let's light a fire. Let's okay. light a fire. Ready? Go. Okay. This is the thing I'm most scared of in the whole world. Snakes. 
No, no, no. The thing I'm most scared of. Jump jumps. Four-year-olds. More than anything, this, this, this scares me to my core. You have to come up with a different kind. Use a lifeline. You know what I mean? Ask the audience. Spiders, I mean, Brad. I'm scared of spiders. Sweetheart, you don't have to say the answer. You, you, you say like something like say like an eight-legged animal or like a superhero. Can't say superhero. Mom, I'm not actually the one with Let's the card. I'm just. Okay. In high school, my senior year spring break, I was in Cancun and and uh, I was wearing this bikini top. I'd lost Tourist. all this weight. Skinny. And um, no, no, no. Then? No, I was standing on the bar and I was shaking around and dancer. My stuff fell out and then all the bartenders. Your what fell out? My stuff fell out and so everybody would call me when I went to the bar. They'd say, "Oh, here it comes." Peekaboo. Peekaboo. Okay, honey, you can say like, look, or like something. You can't say look. Okay, mom, I'm not the one with the card. I'm giving you examples. Okay, if I have the thing here, okay, you see this? You I can't say see. Okay, well, I'm just explaining it how the game works. Can't say game. Okay, mom, the answer has been said. She said the answer. Yeah, right, let's just do the next okay, one. Okay, let's go. We're running out of time. Just okay. let's, you know what I mean? I got it. Okay, so this, okay, this is something that you would eat, and uh, you put it on the barbecue. And Chicken. It's my favorite. Beef. Um, you can't say beef. Mom, I'm not the one saying the things. Did you get that? Just shh. You can't say shh. Okay, Mom, I can okay, say let's shush. let's just move on. You can't say shush. Kebab. Mom, it's kebab. It says I can't say shish. 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 And I could say it because I don't have it. And that's why there's a thing here. So that I can't see okay, what it is. Let's just move on. Let's just move on. Our time's up. What's this attitude, Brad? I don't have an attitude. I've shut down. She buzzes me. I'm trying to explain to you how to play the game. You obviously don't understand the best ways to play the game. And I'm Good. shutting down. The real reason why you showed up today, it's OK. Like I said, I was in the neighborhood, and I just thought you guys could probably use a cheering section. Kate, if you want to join the team, all you have to do is ask. Thank you, Peter. I don't. It is obvious that you dig me. You're hooked on the floor. Oh, God. I've been through this many times. I'm sorry. You can't stay away from me. I'm so stupid. All right, no, I'll admit that in spite of yourself, you have brief moments where you're not completely. What? Well, I'm not completely what? Pathetic. Oh, hey, White. I didn't think that Nazi camp got out until 8. Did you decide to skip arts and crafts? Yes, I did. Oh, hello, Kate. I wasn't aware I was paying you to socialize. You're not. I'm off the clock. Well, isn't that convenient for you? And the clock. I just thought I'd drop by and congratulate you on your victory by disqualification today and introduce you to the team that will be winning the Las Vegas International Dodgeball Open. My team. Allow me the pleasure of introducing you to Blade. Laser. Blazer. I believe you've met my fitness consigliere, Michelle. We met. Oh, and I almost forgot our last player. Meet Fran Stalinaskovich Davidovitsky. Oh. Lady in her home country of Romanovia, dodgeball is the national sport and her nuclear power plants team won the championship five years running, which makes her the deadliest woman on earth with a dodgeball. Ball me, Blazer. Show them, Fran. And that's just her changeup. End of demo. We are the Globo Gym Purple Cobras, and we will, we will, Rock you! I think that guy might really be dead. Wait a minute, wait, wait, wait a minute. How can you be entered in the Las Vegas Open? You didn't even win a regional qualifying match. Oh my god, we never even won a regional qualifying match. Oh yeah, now I remember. The dodgeball chancellor's an extremely personal friend of mine. And I helped him shed some unwanted poundage before beach season. So you can close your little rule book on that one, Poindexter. Look, White, we didn't come here to rumble, all right? We came here to celebrate as a team. So if you don't mind, there's plenty of bar here for you and the uh, <laughs> Globanauts. Team? <laughs> what team? Your best player thinks he's a pirate. Hey! That's it! Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, first of all, he is way more of a pirate than you will ever be. And secondly, 
We don't know who our best player is yet. We've only had one game. It could be any one of us at this point. That's great. Go ahead, make your jokes, mister. Jokey. Joke maker. But let me hit you with some knowledge. You should quit now and save yourself the embarrassment of losing with these losers in Las Vegas, Lafleur. Alliteration aside, I think I'll take my chances in the tournament. Yeah, you will take your chances. I know. I just said that. I know you just said that. Okay, I I'm not sure where you're going with well, this. Well, I'm not sure where you're going with this. That's what I just said. Well, that's what I'm saying to you. All right. You should be the walking fucking death wish. Well, I treat all of my jobs like it's my last. Yeah, but what you do within this group affects all of us. Slow down, cowboy. You're gonna get your money tomorrow. Plus, uh, you guys got noses to feed. What, yeah, like you're Mr. Clean? I'm Mr. Whatever the fuck I want to be. Can I get you anything to drink? Oh, uh, yeah, I think it'd be a uh, Coke all around, right? Uh, how, how you say it in your language? Co coca? So let me get three Cokes and one Coca. Four Cokes? Yeah. Look, here's the deal. You robbed to support a drug habit. I do drugs to support a robbery habit. That's clever. That's my job, see? It's you two who's on vacation. So you doubt our credentials? Wall Street, right? Doctor, ain't that? Doc ain't tell me shit. Just an educated guess. From an uneducated man. Well, Bats, I would be fascinated to hear your thoughts on the matter. Tell me if I'm way off, buddy. You were stockbroker. Maybe a different wife, maybe kids. You stack your paper, but you say shit like work hard, play harder, but you play a little too hard. You rack up debt. The type of debt that'll make a white man blush. Maybe you get into a little trouble. Maybe you get your hand caught in a corporate cookie jar. Maybe you leave and run off to the desert. Maybe with your favorite lap dancer in tow. Maybe you disappear into a world consisting of three things. Money, sex, drugs, and action. Oh, shit, that's for? Am I close? This is how I look at it. You guys just think this is a trip. Either way, if you are Wall Street, you're a bigger fucking crook than I could ever be. I'm gonna go right ahead and speak for the two of us. I think you know us. You don't. Mm. You think you're the last word in crazy. You're not. And believe me when I tell you, you don't want to see my buddy mad. You haven't seen how relentless he is. Because when he sees Ren, you'll see nothing but black. <laughs> you hear that speech? That's some Oscar shit right there. That was nice. You rehearsed that? You see this shit, baby? See that? This is a prime example of a man. Who loves one? Which toast? Bacon, be good for you. Okay. Scrambled eggs. Thank you. Excuse me, but this has powdered sugar on it, and I ordered no sugar. I really can't have too much sugar in the morning. Oh, I'm sorry. Look at that. You're absolutely right. I'll tell you what. Let me take this back and bring you out a new piece. All right, great. Care pretty good? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Do you know where my books and all my possessions are? Because I can't really find. Wait, no, they were in the car. The car that blew up. That's right. That's that's, right. that's very that's, that's, that's hilarious. Toast to be open just a minute. Okay, thank you. Okay, great. French toast, no sugar. All right, sorry about that. Oh, no that problem. Outside. Thank you. No, no problem. Thanks a lot. He's a nice guy. It's good. You know, Lynn, 
When I first started teaching, I thought that I was doing it for all the right reasons. Shorter hours, summers off, no accountability. Oh, I love my summers. Fresh corn. Mm. From now on, my full-time job is finding a guy who's going to take care of me. God, I pray for that. You know, I spent my entire summer hanging out at bars near where the bulls practice. I had some fun, got some cool souvenirs, but those guys are not looking to settle down. I mean, they all wear condoms, then they take the condoms with them. That's how paranoid they are. Like, it's so easy to get pregnant from some dude nutting into a condom. Yeah, ugh, yeah. You're gonna find someone great. You are. I've been thinking about it a lot. I'm like an eight, eight and a half. But if I got a new pair of tits, right? You don't want to do that. You're already so pretty. You have no idea how difficult it is to compete against these Barbie doll types. Yeah, that's true. We're not getting any younger. Yeah. Who we should finish up. Wally's got that big orientation in the auditorium. Yeah, I'm not gonna go to that. But it's mandatory. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I probably won't go either. I don't know, I might. I'll probably go and just sit in the back. Maybe leave early. Maybe stay to the end. I'll play by ear. Or just stay to the end. Oh, I don't know. Um, okay, well, this was fun, huh? He thinks he's human. So stupid. Peter, what brought you to Atlanta? Business or pleasure? Business. Business? What kind of business? Architecture. How'd you get into architecture? College. Anything else? Because I'm trying to... I'm sorry, Peter. We're going to be traveling for a few days, and it wouldn't hurt to get to know each other. <sighs> OK. Ethan, what brought you to Atlanta? Business or pleasure? My daddy died. I went to Atlanta to go to his funeral. Gee, I didn't know. I'm sorry. He was a great guy, man. That's why I'm heading out west. He's the one that kind of motivated me to get on the TV. <laughs> TV. Yeah. Tough business to break into. It's so competitive. I have a friend, he's, a, he's in that industry. Does he work on Two and a Half Men? No. He, oh, uh, man, that's too bad, because Two and a Half Men is the reason I wanted to become an actor. Right. Especially the second season. Here's the plan. We are just outside Birmingham, and we got a late start, so we will only make it just to inside Louisiana. Early bed, early to rise, long 16 to 18 hour haul, which will land us in Phoenix, Arizona. And then we're only eight hours outside of Los Angeles. You know what would be nice? Is if we could stop off at the Grand Canyon. We're not going to the Grand Canyon. I'll tell you why. That would be easily 120 miles off our optimum route. That's too bad. Because Daddy would have loved the Grand Canyon. Why do you even have this? Oh, because this is my Daddy. These are his ashes. Why are your father's ashes in a coffee can? Because he's dead, Peter. I know, I know that. Don't you part. listen to anything that anybody else says? I'm just saying normal people put remains in an urn. This is vacuum sealed. Ethan, you broke the seal when you poured out the coffee, and then you poured your father's remains in there, and then you closed it. That didn't reseal it. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. <sighs> oh, God. You should have come here. I'm allergic to waffles. Excuse me, Flo. <laughs> Flo liked the TV show. Uh, what is the soup du jour? It's the soup of the day. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. Anything else before I leave the area? No. Yeah, yes. Yes, my soda's flat. It doesn't have any bubbles. Happy now? Feels good to mingle with these laid-back country folk, don't it, Hare? I like it a lot. Uh-oh. What? What's the matter? You spilled the salt. That's what's the matter. Spilling the salt is very bad luck. 
driving across the country. The last thing we need is bad luck. Quick, toss some salt over your right shoulder. What the hell? Uh-oh. Too little, too late, Harry. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? Oh, that, it was a terrible mistake, sir. Please, oh, believe me, I would never do anything to offend a man of your size. Kick his ass, Seabass! Go ahead, Seabass. You gonna eat that? What, that? No, yes. No, well, no, I, I'd crossed my mind. Yeah. Still want it? Nah, you go ahead. <laughs> you really wimped out, man. We talking about wimped out? We, what? Did you? The guy hawked at my burger. Wait a second. What, I think I just. Yeah, I just had an idea. Follow me. Excuse me, guys. What the hell do you want? Uh, I just want to apologize for that uh, unpleasant scene a little earlier. My friend Harry and I would uh, like to buy you guys a round of beers just to bury the hatchet. Make it four Boilermakers. Whatever you want, sir. I'll have the waitress bring it over immediately. Wait, what are you doing? We can't afford to buy them drinks. Um, excuse me. Seabass and the fellows offered to pick up our check. They said just put it on their tab. They're very nice. Seabass said that. Well, if uh, that guy at the table over there is Seabass. All right, that's what he wants. Put these on there, too. Okay. You got it. I think you fucked up. How's that? I think you fucked up, I think. I don't think you should have took that medicine. Why not? I don't know, personally, I think you should have just let yourself die. Honestly, man, what, what are you gonna do now? Make another bullshit movie? Fuck another chick who doesn't like you? You know, that was your way out right there. Hmm. Now you're, you're fucking stuck. Yeah. You're stuck just like me. Can't go to fucking Chuck E. Cheese. I can't go to Target. I can't go to Best Buy. I can't go to fucking Walmart, Kmart. You fucking name it, I can't go there. Yeah, that's true. Everyone in this fucking room is either staring at us, mm -hmm. wanting to take a fucking picture. Yeah. Hey, email that to me. That's awesome. Yeah. Who the fuck is that guy right there? That fucking guy right there. What? <laughs> Ray Romano's bothering him? Who? Ray, Ray, who? Ray Romano, the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond? Who the fuck what show he's on? I'll, I'll fuck this motherfucker up, man. Hey, hey Ray! Hello, Marshall. Fucking problem here, buddy? W would you like to fuck me? Is that what this is? I'll get it, man. What's going on? Would you like me to fucking bend over for you right now? No. No, man. It's got to always be on my toes, man. <laughs> oh, you know? I, I see that. But now we're this is why I don't go out of the house. I thought everybody loved you. This is my little girl, Mina. Cute. My son, Danny. Oh, that's sweet. That's my wife, Lita. Pretty. That's my dick. Sorry about that. That's my dog. Aww. Hate it. So you've known um, you've known Nikki a long time. Uh, ten years. Why? Just wondering. Okay, you got me. We're sleeping together, okay? Uh, mm -hmm. Like the ancient Greeks. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I, mean, I like the guy. I do, but people 
aren't really his bag, so it's hard to tell sometimes. Yeah, I guess you can't blame him. I mean, he told me about that thing with his dad and his grandfather. It's, it's crazy. He told you that? I mean, I've heard that story, but never from him. Really? You must throw a mean one. Damn. Ha ha. I'm really gonna miss sucking his dick. <laughs> So's he. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Let me go on. Good morning, sunshine. Guys, guys, wake up! Danny's alive! He's eating all the fucking food! No, no, no. for you guys. Stop eating! Don't eat another piece of bacon. Guys, just chill the fuck out, okay? I'm sure the Green Goblin can fucking afford some more bacon. Dude, this shit's supposed to last us till we get rescued! Wait a second. I know what happened. You guys dropped acid, didn't you? Mm-hmm. Craig doesn't have any pants on. He got fucking wild, probably danced, sweated all over the place. You got white shit all over your mouth, Frankie. You probably sucked somebody's dick. Jonah over here probably watched and jerked off. Jay? I didn't even know you were in town. Good to see you. Danny, we're not on acid. We didn't suck each other's dicks. James Franco didn't suck any dick last night. Now I know you all are tripping. You actually not know what happened last night? Daniel, you may want to stay seated for a second. Some really messed up stuff happened, and there were a lot of fatalities. Oh, really? You're putting your serious voice on, Jonah? OK, tell me about these fatalities. Dude, Siegel's dead. Krumholz is dead. Michael Sarah's dead. Yes, and Michael Sarah's gone, it's not a total loss, huh? <laughs> Danny, Michael Sarah's dead. On. It's not like that. It's not funny, man. It's really not funny. Seth, that's a better performance than you've given in your last six movies. Where the fuck was that in Green Hornet, huh? Jonah, you're fucking sucking balls. You're an Academy Award nominated person. You need to be fucking selling that shit, dude. Fatalities. There was some fatalities. Fatalities. Okay, no, that was good. That was good. Does it seem like we're fucking joking? Hey, Seth, hey, Seth, we're fucking eating, man. Give me the bacon. Oh!